Hello, my beautiful Libras! Welcome to one of our special readings. It's another week in loves, but you know, special readings are timeless readings. Could come anytime you find out this video. And a lot of you, couples, singles, ask me about questions, if there is someone there for you, or is someone who cares or love you, and so on. So, today reading will be about your secret admirer who secretly love you, who secretly probably cares about you. You might speak with this person, you might not. Or for some of you, very few will be a soul who still kind of one aspect to you that they really care, whatever happened in this life or on the other. So let's see here, Libras. For some of you, could be a new person, could be someone very very close to you or have been at one point close to you or it could be just someone who you just met let's see who is this person who secretly admires you admiration is not necessarily just from a love interest know that all right let's see we have a knight of pentacles so Knight of Pentacles, usually when we speak about this knight, is the slowest knight in the deck. So this person who really admires you, they have an eye on details or they, um, they have that energy of, it's not like energy, but patience to take their time to analyze how you are, where you are. So... I feel here this person is not jumping or starting something. They could be, you know, that in that person in background. They they're not a show off or they are not showing that they love you necessary. Could show you through their actions, not necessary with their words. So this could be a person who what I do, I show love, or whatever I do, you will see that it's out of love. They could have the love language of the, um, the service. I am at service. Let's see. Ten of Swords. Ten of Cups. Two of Swords, Chariot, the Sun, Page of Swords, Page of Wands, King of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. What I'm feeling here, this person could be betrayed in this life, not only once, not only twice, but many times. And could be betrayed because they, the way they manifest love or the way they show love is not what many people expect of them. You know, a lot of people expect words. Tell me you love me and things like that. But this person is, they show their love through their actions. Chariot is action. Ten of Cups is kind of they will show you through certain things through their own actions, how they love you, okay? And it's kind of this person leaves for seeing you happy, okay? They also could, could say, well, I left you that thing over there, or I, I bought you that and I put it there, make sure you take it, things like that. This person is more practical than a talker they also could not be a big talker in general but i feel here you always look for the your conversations it's a very grounded person they have a lot to give but they probably not giving much many times or once they they are with you or in love with you or have a relationship, they do give a lot. 
but other than that they give very little or they teeny tiny bits so so far I like this kind of person Queen of Cups Moon they could be Sun in Cancerian Moon in Taurus Virgo Capricorn or Aries Leo or Sag things like that you see here Moon the Devil and Page of Cups so we have all the pages pages speaks about communication they could be they uh, they look probably okay so the no communication is usually they don't communicate with with those who doesn't know very well or it's very hard for them to initiate any conversations but once you get in the loop then they are the most talkative person. It's a very different person. So it's kind of, this person could be a public person or something. I just don't like this moon and this devil energy because this person could be sometimes possessive. And you see from, from the, the chariot and the sun i'm outgoing i'm moving to i'm not doing anything so this person could be like on two sides kind of or two personality sides that's why they you know some people got from an extreme to another so that's kind of person could be it's like they know about this that's why they they keep it kind of many times for themselves a lot of things here they they keep for themselves and they could gone through therapy to come out of this shell but it's very hard they could be a crab and could have cancer in the chart for sure moon in capricorn sun in cancerian but also Cancerian and Capricorns are the opposites. So as I have the moon and the devil, moon in Capricorn, sun in Cancerian. Okay, and definitely they could have Virgo as well. But let's see. There's another thing here. This person also... could work with some uh, magic or could be very much successful financially but it's something here very mysterious about this person and probably that why you even kind of want to know them more for some of you you feel like this person has very little but they have a lot moon Five of Swords and the Devil, Four of Swords. Yeah, this person could be definitely here someone who looks okay but doesn't. They they may show like it's not a big deal, they are foolish, but they are not foolish. This person is kind of, you know, um, it's like every day there's something new with them or every day you find something new about this person. I don't feel this person trusts people. This person could cut a lot of people from their life. They are not as as friendly or they, they, they may not have a lot of friends. Yeah, they they could have certain people around them, but not friends. Yeah. Also, this person could be married before, but didn't work. For others of you, this person could be afraid of marriage. And they feel like everybody, it's there to 
to get what they have but this person could have a lot of money or they could be pretty well financially yes another thing here this person if they want something they get it I also feel here this person could have certain um, ooh, certain things about this person is definitely you know there are people yeah they could be an extremal person or someone who go from an extreme to another but they have something here sexual wise that not too many people know either they are not straight but bisexual or when they are with someone they they want to try certain things that probably a normal person or um, let's say um, a traditional person will never do so this person has certain things out there but not too many can handle those things okay why they secretly admire you you know what I'm I'm gather it's like they see something they see the the mini me or the younger me in you but let's see more eight of swords ten of pentacles the hangman and the four of cups for some of you, you could be you could be married, but they see you that you are not happy in the marriage, or you could be ended a marriage or ending a marriage, and you struggle to move forward or struggle to see things a little different or whoever you are never satisfied you but certain ties here yeah it's like they they seen you gone through certain things here that you you could never do it's like they they see you as your struggle and for some of you you are exactly like them however they are a little bit ahead of you with a lot of things why is telling me here you are like them or they see they see them in you when they were young they could be married or they could want to be married but something here was never they were never happy in a marriage or they never happy with just one partner or with just one thing or somebody here give them all the time headaches or a hard time what else you should know loves temperance nine of cups justice and the high priestess and eight of cups for some of you this person could could help you how to move forward with your life or inspire you how to move forward or what what to want or how to get things in life in a in a more balanced way or how you truly want to but I feel here this person also could take some um, so they 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 do some practices there or they could learn you certain things that definitely kind of you you enjoy it or you you feel brings you healing or gives you healing it's like this person also could take some um, they could um, do ayahuasca or those practices that 
you kind of get in a, some kind of trance, but feels like, you know, you could help them or they could help you with something. Okay. Is a possibility anything to be between you two? For just some of you, you could, you could at one point to, to spend the night with this person and you always were, were thinking about them. Let's see. The Wheel of Fortune, Ace of Pentacles, Tower, and the World. So if there is a possibility for you to be together, not in a marriage, no. But I feel here this person wants to show you a different world. It's kind of their world. You see here, this strength goes around with the nest and somehow this whale is is kind of through this one. It's like how they can help you to navigate through the through the stuff to escape from certain things. But they have different methods. Methods that you kind of never seen before. It's kind of definitely this person is going to learn you a whole different other world or show you a whole different other world. For some of you, this person, either they practice ayahuasca, either they have past life regression or certain things. But wow, I never expect such a mystical energy here. But yeah, this kind of person definitely admires you. It's more likely I'm, I'm seeing this person as a guide to you. But also I'm feeling here this person can help you to see certain things from, from other dimension. Because a lot of people know there is a 3D dimension, 5D, but there is many other dimensions. But probably it's for another reading to speak about that. But yeah. So Libra, that kind of person, it's your secret admirer. And they feel here, sometimes you definitely understand, even sometimes might, might scare you about this person, but I don't see here they are meaning anything wrong to you or something like that, no. But I feel here this person can show you definitely a, a whole other world that probably nobody did and how you can apply in this earthly life too. See you loves. I thank you so much and blessings. Till the next time. Bye for now.